What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another part of my Abbasid campaign for 1212 AD. And in the last episode we did have a huge battle um, down here, basically fighting over Kerman uh, with the garrison and a army that was within from the Krasmarine Empire. But we managed to defeat it with our two armies united. And uh, if you haven't checked out that episode, I fully recommend you go and do so. It was a great battle and uh, we'll catch you up on what, what has happened. Um, before this episode. So the plan is in this uh, next episode is obviously to carry on east, we'll take Herat and carry on north against the rest of the Krasmarian Empire. It looks like, okay, so I, the Mongols have actually taken a region for themselves. They've taken Gorgon um, and they've taken Merv, okay. Well, so we may have uh, an issue there with the uh, Mongols in the way. I may knock them out but how many more regions up here are co held by the Krasmarine Empire? Quite a few, I imagine. Oh, that's not held. We don't know who that's held by. Okay, Krasil, Kuala. But these ones are the last. They've got two left. Of the Krasmarine Empire. Okay. So we may need to deal with the Mongols, but they have armies full of horsemen. We can uh, match them with that, or we can beat them with our, with our uh, superior infantry. But we're also going to go east, uh, not east, west now. East we've already just discussed. Um, Erbil is right for the taking. And uh, we have armies getting ready to uh, basically start that that war, basically. So we're, we're nearly there. So I'm probably just going to end the turn. I'm saving up for a mosque, which I want to put in it's somewhere over here. Yes, I think it was either Istafan I want to put a mosque in or Yads. I think Yads I'd rather have a mosque first. Um, so I'm going to end the turn. Oh, we've got an unassigned skill for a governor. Very well. We'll give him zeal and we'll give him public order. Um, Basra, even more happy than it was before. And there we go. We'll end the turn and see what happens. I hope you guys are all doing well um, in these uh, interesting times, we'll call them like that. I uh, hope you're all well and safe and uh, staying inside and keeping everyone else safe by staying inside. Um, Yep, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a bit of a pain. We've just had like in the UK, we've had like a lockdown issue, cha well changes and stuff like that, so we're able to go outside a bit more. But uh, still, not really the same, and uh, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like much has changed. Put it like that. Um, <laughs> but yes, we we kept, we continue anyway. It looks like Mercuria is um, doing some stuff. Oh, the Zengids, the Zengids, I think to the end of days will beg for defensive alliance. Mercuria looks like it's actually being forced back. It's uh, left Alexandria very much open. The Mamluks have appeared. That's um, certainly interesting. The Mamluks have got pr a pretty strong roster. Ah, these guys want to be a defensive ally. I've decided I won't do that because actually, oh, I don't know. Let me have a look. Okay, soldier pretenders. Okay. Because someone mentioned that these guys, yeah, these guys are no longer a vassal of the Krasmarine Empire, so they broke away. So, we may need to take them out, or we could make them a vassal of our own. Most excellent friend. If I offered you 8,000, I don't think this would be enough, would but... Before your own heart fires. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. Well, well, we'll keep them there, just tucked away doing nothing. I'm gonna go, w I'm gonna start going west. But is that garrison big enough? Hmm. Okay, we might need to recruit a few more troops. Might need to recruit a few more troops. Uh, let's put in some more. We haven't actually got any cavalry, and I'm sure that's probably what they have. So we can get some cavalry in this army. That would be great. Uh, one, two. Yeah, let's make it three cavalry. Um, this army doesn't have any cavalry, and it can't. Well, it could build crossbow cavalry, but I don't want crossbow cavalry. Um, so I'm going to put some more swords in here. I was saving up for uh, a mosque, but, you know, we need to keep the army building up. And we'll still have plenty of money put aside for uh, for mosques. Let's send up Hassan, my assassin, to go and see what's happening in Herat. I also want to take Nishapur from the uh, rebels, but... No need to declare war on another nation when we've not quite finished off this one. Uh, I probably actually could get 3,000 out of some people. Just need to find the right people. Um, 
The Yubis may die before I actually get there to deal, deal with them. I can demand a wife. Ah, yes, well, I'll take this wife. Sure. Ten grand? No, that's a bit too much. Seven thousand. Oh, that's high. Okay, so eight thousand. Yep, there we go. I'll take seven thousand off you. Actually, seven thousand five hundred or three hundred. There we go. Seven thousand three hundred for uh, that wife. And there we go. We'll put Yads. It's got itself a mosque. Excellent. Right. Kerman is also slowly building itself back up. It's at plus ten currently. Uh, instability is still a bit of a problem, and various other things are as well. So that's not great. Probably want to put in. Oh, we've got a fun duck here, so we could put a pleasure house in here. Probably could do with a mosque as well. But apart from that, Kerman's probably pretty sorted as well. Ray is still going down. We need to actually change this to a mosque as well. Currently that's a plus four, that'll become plus three. Um well minus four. And it's plus four, and that'll be plus three. So it'll only be minus one a turn, so we could do that. Um but yes, we, I mean, our economy is not looking great, but it should survive. It should survive. We've got, oh, okay, and George is actually taking out parts of the Ubers for me as well. That's always good. Uh, let's get these guys. Let's make them, give them a military access. No, that's a bit too much. A bit much. Clearly, no one's got the money for military accesses. Okay, well, we'll leave that. Um, these guys really like me. Let I wonder if they'd have trade. Bread and drink. Okay, yeah, so the Mongols actually would uh, probably side with me because I'm being at war with the Quasimarine Empire, but I don't want them as allies at all. Uh, Istafan, yeah, you're looking okay. Plus two, I don't really want to damage that status quo. So I'll just end the turn, and we will see what happens. I just want to kind of get through these couple of turns, start uh, sieging down Erbil. And then going from there, really. See whether anyone else declares war on the Zengids. Because, I mean, they're basically just there for the taking. And then we can go and take out the Crusaders. Jerusalem's still... Doing its thing with small armies, which you can never take any regions, but uh, it'll try. Look at this. They're begging, yeah, apparently, but they're also demanding money. So uh, it's one or the other. They haven't quite decided if they're begging or going to demand money from me. But either way, it's not going to happen. They, the Zengis are desperate for some sort of friends, and no one's offering them friendship. It's kind of funny and sad at the same time. I'm not quite sure what Aman's doing. It's uh, just... Traveling through my lands. Uh, no. Pretenders, you cannot have anything. No, you cannot have military access. Because then you'll go and take out my friends. The Quasimarine Empire. The Swords of Islam, though, are done. Qudiar, I'm pretty sure, is one of my yeas of the Abbasid dynasty. So I'm going to put him in charge. Um, so there we go. So, who died? Uh, I'm not actually quite sure who died. Is it Gar No, Garzi's there. I don't know who died then. Someone. She's from the Alma Almahad Caliphate. Wow, okay. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty... We're looking okay. Right, so. One more turn, and we can start our campaign west. This is plus ten. What if I leave? At your command. Minus seven. That's not so good. Religious differences. Well, we're sorting that out. We're uh, slowly sorting that out. I've got two armies around here. I don't need both. I'm going to send this one, the Bane of Christendom, north. It can recruit more troops here. Uh, what I really want in this army, I'm not quite sure. Maybe more ar foot archers. Needs good fighters. There we go. So we'll put oh, more of the uh, the basic archers, but they'll do. And then Herat, yeah, is ready for the taking. It's got a big garrison, but uh, that's fine. They can't get through here, so this is yeah prime for the taking. So we'll take one turn, just sit here, and then we'll we'll take it. 
Kerman looking pretty good. That's great. And then that's kind of it. Because yeah, someone's suggesting that we if we vassalize the Quasmarine Empire, we'd vassalize these guys, but these guys have broken away, so that's just not gonna happen now. The Gurids are starting to hate me a little bit. I wanna make them a vassal. I think it'll be the anticipation of your novel. But I don't think anyone would ever oh I could I don't want to demand from them. Offer, let's offer. Offer away, no. Couldn't offer them near near enough, I imagine. I should have guessed that. Um, but anyway, yeah, looks like we are kind of done here. Is there any diploma other diplomacy that I could do that would actually probably work? I could see Venice. Um, they probably do Welcome, hate me. I suppose. Yes, you do suppose. Um, Welcome. I, I could suppose. make peace. No, I don't think any of these guys really care about peace. They just speak quickly. Apparently they're on a crusade, but I'm yet to see them actually go on crusade. Uh, 50, minus 50. If I sided with one of those, the other one would probably love me a lot. Probably better to side with uh, Trebizond and Nicaea. Since the others I am here, then. hate me. Um, but the Seljuks are also... Welcome, friend. They're looking Welcome. relatively like the I same size. We'll give you a fair answer before the sun's... Okay, well, there's nothing much I can do here. I'm just going to end my turn. I'm just kind of looking around seeing what I could do, but it's not much to do. Um, Governor, uh, I'd like to get more wealth, I guess, and then there we go. So, Avaz is plus one now, so that's good. Hopefully we can get a battle in today's uh, in today's episode. I do enjoy playing with uh, on campaign with like ragtag armies. And they're all that's what I'm basically making really. I've not really got a setup for what I uh, build. I try and just balance out cavalry, infantry, and archers, and then maybe like if you have navatoons like in this scenario, maybe throw in a couple of specialist units. Obviously, like my ghoul and foot guards are really good. Um, Obviously, they're very expensive. They're really good, though, because they are both cavalry and infantry. Not cavalry and infantry. Um, archers and uh, infantry. They're a hybrid unit. They're really, really good, and I really like I using them. And no Zengids. We won't have any sort of alliance. A Quasmarine Empire wants peace. peace. I would only for give you peace for vassalization. So, yeah. There you go. That's all you get it for, and you're not getting it for that. That man's now raiding my land. Which is rude of him, uh, so we'll have to go and put that down when we've taken out the uh, Zengids. Or just wait till he starves, which is also quite soon, I imagine, when we besiege Herat. Uh, Everyone wants non aggression packs with me, it's just not going to happen. Uh, someone's died, that's a shame. A lot of people are dying. Oh my gosh. Uh, a, lot of a lot of disease as well, but hey, that happens. People have uh, like said, oh, improve your sanitation and stuff like that, but I'm not really too fussed. It's sanitation's not the end of the world. Um, but yes, here we go. We're going to war with the Zengids. It's finally happening. Besiege them here. Uh, we'll put two things in, but I don't think it'll be needed. Let's bring up this army. It can help in the siege. And there we go. I could actually get rid of this. Let's see. I've been playing a uh, casual one. Public order doesn't actually get affected with the sanitation here. Oh, see, even still, like I have sanitation here, and it's just not not helping massively in a uh, clearing up the disease here. It's still a bit of an issue. Uh, what was I wanting to spend my money on? Oh yes, Ray won today. We could put a fun duck in. Actually, that would be a better idea. Let's put that in. Uh, let's put a. Fl Pleasure house, and that'll be a better idea. Um, where's my holy man? Oh, he's dead. No. What a sad sight. Okay, well, I guess Bashar, it's it's time for you to come of age. <laughs> well, not come of age, but do your job. So we lost our holy man. We just replace him with another one, and on we go, like nothing happened. And then we'll start sieging down here. 
And this one could take a bit longer because I've not got a good army. But that, yeah, four turns for that one. But we're getting to that sort of period, that point where we're starting to just siege multiple places down at once now. And this is where um, this campaign will really speed up, I can imagine. And we'll get through uh, a lot more of our stuff now in no time at all. Um, so I'm just going to end the turn. Not really anything I would want to do. I mean, I probably could have done some marriages um, because I'm pretty sure we've got some free bachelors now, but uh, I'm not really too interested. Interested to know, you can make vassals out of people that you uh, marry off uh, if you're a Christian. I wonder if you can do the same with the Muslims in this uh, in this mod. I'm not seeing it um, happen yet, per for me personally, but... I'm sure he could. I'm sure they haven't altered it just for the Muslims to deny them it. Oh, interesting to see because I'd like to uh, basically vassalize the Gurids and stuff uh, peacefully. I don't really want to take their lands. Hard enough to administer them. Here we go. A battle as I expected. See, this one's a fairly balanced one apparently. Um, they've not got much cavalry and these are horse archers. Okay, they've got one unit of Cavalry, Ascari. They've also got their general. But that's kind of it. Um, have they got any Nafatoons? No, they have no Nafatoons. They're, they're doomed. Anyway, so I will fight this battle. And I will see you guys on the battlefield in a moment. Where, as we fight the Zengids. For the first time. And hopefully the final time. So, it looks like the Zengids have picked a miserable rainy day to fight this battle on. So, I'm going to take the high ground over here, which is, uh, well, what Kenobi would do. And also, uh, well, it's where our reinforcements are coming in. So, we're going to just put our archers out front, our swords behind. I'll put my spears on the flank. And then my general, like so. And my Nafatoon's behind them, so they don't get shot. And killed. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't care if they, they gather their army up because, um, well, they have, yeah, they have reinforcements and I have reinforcements. So, like, who really cares? And I have better reinforcements because I have more cavalry and more Nafatoons. Because who doesn't want more Nafatoons? So, uh, the plan is, I actually kind of want to use my Nafatoons in this battle. So the plan is to, uh, well, is to basically get the get the generals, <laughs> Just find those generals and kill them uh, as quickly as possible. Let's move these spears to the flank again. Cavalry can all come here. I'm gonna put the cavalry on this flank. I think I am gonna go with this flank. Keep them, keep the high ground. Uh, general, go over here. Take the other Nafatoon and then these archers. Can go like so. Though they actually need to form loose formation, like the rest of the archers, which I haven't done with yet. So let's do that quickly. Oh, we have crossbows in this army as well. Ah, oh, they could actually be quite useful because uh, no one else has got crossbows. Gonna need them for armor piercing. And there we go. That's the entire army on. Three thousand against two thousand eight hundred. Uh, eight hundred apparently. Apparently, we have the advantage. So, I'll speed it up. Fast forward. They should be attacking me because, well, I was the one that uh, was attacked, basically. There's no no, uh, no fancying it up, really. Just how it happens. Let's just get the cavalry out here. There we go. Okay, so they can see us now. They should start making a move towards us. Because the AI is dumb. Here we go. Come on. These Mukti are pretty good though. Heavy bow cav. They actually might be an issue. You can see more units over here. This is a, a Syphilis and Oh, just a general unit. Let's just call him a general unit. It's not fancy up. Um, right, so let's just move this entire army to about here. And let's hope we can have a battle. And they're not just going to constantly run away. These guys do look awesome. Excellent, one might say. I mean, they're a bit dark to see in this uh, in this uh, in this battle, but hey, they, I'm sure they look glorious on the sandy deserts 
of the east. And here we go, we've got some uh, skirmishes appearing. I presume there there are units just their reinforcements did not like spawn in a great spot, so they're taking ages to get ready. They've got lots of Javis, I don't know why they favour these Javis. They're okay, but they run out of ammo very quickly and they break even quicker. Here comes their army. Marching up nice and slowly. Hurry up. I, d I don't really want to attack you. You're the ones that came and did, th did me dirty and came and attacked me. I was happy just to besiege your settlement for one more turn, take it, and then you could have uh, had an easy... Well, not an easy, but uh, I would have had a harder siege to do in Mosul. Oh, no. Just got to be aware. Ah, see, I do, was not being aware of this. Yeah, I didn't think they'd come around the other side as well. So they are getting quite close. I'm going to just slow it down. These guys can reach further than me. Wow. Okay. Um, that's news. Move the entire line a little bit further forward, I guess. Even though I can hear cavalry. Uh, make sure the archers are on skirmish mode. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're good there then. I could put the Nafatoons on skirmish mode, but uh, they have to get so close that I think they it'd be an issue if they were on skirmish mode. I don't know why you're retreating though. Let's just do like that. Focus this cavalry unit down. They're an issue. Um, yeah, if they just charge into my spears and my swords, then that's perfectly fine. Looks like those heavy horse archers might come for a scuff as well. I'm quite fine with that. Carry on doing that as you will. These guys, oh, they're just exhausted. This is going to be very useful though. That the AI is so dumb it doesn't rest its troops. So uh, them being exhausted will also help. We're focusing down these Jazeera spears, which is also great. We have got some pretty good archers actually. These Roma Al Jund are pretty hit good. Uh, here we go. Yep. Right. You're, they were stupid enough to do that. Uh, actually just charge in there. Swords here, charge in there. Form shield wall. These guys are going to break before they even get there. That's excellent. Uh, archers can just keep soaking up the ammo. Hardly any of them are dying anyway. Uh, general, go over and go and support. They're actually breaking the sword unit. That is a concern. And you uh, focus on these uh, Ascari for me. But the Ascari are actually breaking now first. Excellent. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I know he's being attacked. He's just being shot. Uh, stand in front of the Nafatoons again, General. Yeah, look at all these units breaking before they even get there. That's painful. Uh, go and charge in there, Cavalry. Form spear, wall, uh, shield wall, in fact. Uh, turn around with your spears. Archers start shooting here. Start shooting these guys down. Oh, yes, they charged in as I hoped they would. So those uh, horse archers shouldn't be doing too much damage there. Form shield wall, form shield wall. I'm quite happy to play defensive on this one. Everyone start shooting goddamn archers. They're being a pain. A pain by being alive. Um, form shield wall. And there we go. I wanted you guys to just focus them down, but okay. There we go, we broke those horse archers, that was the, a bit of a worry, I did think that they might have actually fought hard because they were heavy horse archers, um, but apparently not. Apparently they're just pretty much pansies. Um, we are breaking most of their swords, so they are running out of that. Carry on running into them, R bring down those archers, these archers are actually kind of good, they are basically like the 
Ghulam Warriors, uh, Ghulam Warriors, Ghulam uh, Archers for me. Uh, we better support these swords since they are going forward. Crossbows keep focusing these guys down. Yep, we're focusing them down. I'm pretty sure, I don't think we killed a general, but everything's chain routing. Everything be chain routing. I kind of want to use my Nafatoons. I did say I was going to use them, but I can't actually see a good opportunity. Everything's breaking too quickly. It's a huge line we're also fighting on as well. A huge line. Um, I guess swing around here. Surround these guys. And there we go. That's kind of like all the issues we have. Um, shoot these guys. Break these guys, come on. Those archers broken yet? No, they're still losing decisively though. Are these archers gonna hold their ground and fight? No, they're not. No surprise there. There we go, this whole right flank can just wheel round. Crossbows I imagine might have done okay. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Never really know. But I'm going to believe that they did okay. Spears on the flanks have held the ground. None of the Nafatoons died. That's the main thing. None of the Nafatoons died. Right, you just carry on routing these guys. And... Okay, they broke them. Excellent. Turn around and kill them. The cavalry's not doing a great job. I really was hoping it was going to be routing stuff by now, but no. Apparently not. Okay, I might have found an opportunity for the Nafatoons. It's a big risk, but it's a, w a risk worth taking, I think. Those horse archers just stood there and took that. Wow. Brave fellows. Um, archers just focus everything down here. Let's see if we can get the Nafatoons in there before you kill them all. Uh, Nafatoons. No, look, they got to... Oh my gosh, though, they've fired there. That wasn't an intention. If you saw that explosion, you can see, like, the aftermath. Uh, but I did not intend for them to do that. Please hold your fire from now on. You fools. Uh, pull back. You're, you're, you're just going to cause the havoc there. You might not cause havoc here. Oh, this unit's actually breaking. Okay. Um. Excellent. That cavalry's still holding. Jeez. What's fighting in here? Oh, and I've got some spears fighting in there. Okay. The cavalry's pulling back. Keep doing what you're doing then, I guess. Nath warriors come around here. Nath throwers, in fact. I should call them. Uh, oh, just hold your fire. Um, these guys, actually, all the archers, go and shoot down these. The men are broken and running for their lives. Who broke? Oh, those guys there. Okay, well, that's fine. And there we go. This battle's kind of been uh, sorted out a long time ago, really. As soon as they uh, start, like, I don't know really what I would say defined it, but... This could be really, really stupid. Um, just sending my naft throwers to basically go and die here. But it's worth the risk. Hold your Start throwing. Start throwing. I want to get a volley. Yes. Volley. I spent good money on you men. There you go. They break. They break like... Well, they're made of glass, I guess. A pretty rubbish analogy, but it's a fairly accurate one. Because it's what they're doing. Chase them down. Imagine just running away from men with, like, explosives just on them. Look at them. These are the scariest men on the battlefield by far. They just got pots of explosives. Not quite sure what all these swords are doing here. I think everything else is breaking. There's not really much left. The cavalry here. I'm just going to speed this up for the sake of the video. Um, there we go. Pots of... Explosives to do all the damage that we need. All the dirty work as well. There we go. Throw some pots at these guys. There you go. Yeah, you'll break them nicely.
Oh, uh, that probably wasn't necessary. I just threw like another wave in there. Um, shoot these guys, please. Don't throw more pots. There we go. They're all gone. Excellent. Cavalry, if you've got any men left to get, get these guys. There we go. Everyone routed. And I don't really care about running down the victims. Because they're all going to die in a moment. When I take Erbil for myself. Apparently, I, apparently like... I must have killed their generals off early. I don't think I did, though. I killed certainly one of the generals off, like, midway through the battle, but nowhere near, like, as early as some of the units started to break. But we'll take on warriors. Ready for battle. And we'll end the end turn. I forgot that we have uh, yet to end the turn. And there they go. They're skulking back to Mosul. Krasmarine Empire is doing its thing in Basra for some reason. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know really what else is going on. Don't know. I'm sure someone will offer me a non-aggression pact. Surely it'll be the Krasmarine Empire's pretenders. No, nope. that was a that's a pleasant sight not seeing them do that. Uh, and there we go. Consumption is spread to just about every part of uh, my empire by the sounds of it. But everyone's still happy and they don't care apart from Avaz. But I don't really care. Um, I could not care. Right. Let's give you that, and then let's give you um zeal might be better. Now let's go down that one and get uh, more. Well, start to try and get more movement, and then integrity. Yeah, let's do that one. Um, an integrity for army and personal influence. I guess we'll do as well, dude. Whatever his name is. And there we go, we'll take this, take Erbil for the Abbasid Empire. Then we will start our march on Mosul. Occupy, I could take, I could sack and occupy, but not really too interested. Oh my gosh, everything's diseased here. Um, religion's okay, I'm gonna put in a sanitation thing, try and stop the uh, disease spreading here more than it already is. Um, Herat over here. I don't think it will uh, have changed. No, I didn't think so. We'll just keep that one under siege for a moment. Keep that one under siege for now. And then... Uh, yeah, that's probably probably all I can do. I don't think there's uh, any people that have any ranks that need gaining. Yeah, you've all got your ranks. Okay. Then we've captured that. Excellent, right. Ready for all. You've got your skills. Does Kudiar? Kudiar has skills as well. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone we can marry off. Uh, Sajar, possibly. 18, I would have thought she would have been of age, but apparently not. Uh, Idris, just how him is apparently is a... He's in my family, even though he's also technically not. Uh, machine. Or can I marry Humor off? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, can I marry Welcome, friend. Welcome. this person off? Ubids? Welcome, friend. Welcome. No, but I could do trade if they wanted it. I, in my um, name, I guess I'll do trade. Before the sun sets. Uh, that's a bit too high for you, but yeah. We, we, we could do a trade back. Could help with the economy. That me and you both desperately need. You the more than me. Of my household are you? Um, let's see, Gurids, do you have anyone to offer? Apparently I can't marry her off. A real My shame. Friend. A real shame. Apparently I'm trading with the Sel Salgrids. I don't remember trading with the Salgrids, the but apparently I am. Um, and that's kind of all I can do, really. I probably could offer you... Yeah, I could offer you stuff, but I can't really do anything that I really want to do. Okay, that's probably where I'm going to wrap up today's episode, unless there's anything I can spend on buildings, which there isn't really. Um, I mean, Kermans and stuff. Building. Also for that. Yeah, there's not really anything I want to spend my money on. Uh, I could spend it on infantry, I guess. Could spend it on infantry. 
Yeah, let's spend it on some ghoul and foot guard. How many could we get? Oh, just that many. Yeah, we'll get three ghoul and foot guard for the scourge of Christianity. So then this army is actually fairly powerful and able to like look after itself. This one's look, which is so big, it doesn't need to really worry about anything else. Um, and then we can start our assault on Mosul as soon as possible. But if you guys enjoyed them, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to show your support, also don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, keeps this series going. And until next time, Legionnaires, 